Hey friends, welcome back to another hair tutorial here on our channel, Putting Up With The Pom Pons. In this video, we are doing bows, bobbles, and beads, honey. I know, all the beads in the world. So I'm gonna be showing you a four styles for Kaylani, my middle child, and Callista, the youngest, for their hairstyles for the week. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. Stay tuned. All right, so before I go any further, if you are new to our channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and come join the family. We would love to have you. And to all of my returning subscribers, hey, bestie, hey, mama, hey, friend, hope you are being blessed and safe as always. So this is the beginning of the week. This is a Sunday night. I'm prepping the girls for school week, and Kaylani just had her wash done, and I am adding some Pretty Strands Leave-In Conditioner. It is a very lightweight spray, and I spray it all over saturate in her hair and then detangle now for this style <laughs> Pinterest had me all messed up had me convinced that I could do these cute little heart ponytails on Kehlani's hair um, I, I don't Pinterest really be just giving me a lot of false hope and false confidence just like YouTube tutorials such as this one so I'm gonna show y'all how I did it and how badly I struggled so I'm going in with some uh, hair gel. This is a Shine Effects conditioning gel. It's very similar to a Let's Jam, but a lot better of a hold, and it smells so freaking good. Okay, so we're going in making, creating the first ponytail. Now in the tutorial on Pinterest, of course it was five seconds, so it made me think, oh, this won't take long. Honey, this took me 20 minutes. So then you rubber band like two inches down, flip it and then you take this little cute little device that I've never used in my life and then you have to like you know rotate it in there y'all saw what I did right so you know once I did it played around with it you can see the cute little heart right can't you see it it's, it's right there it's the, right it looks so cute so I should have stopped here I should have just stopped here and then let the rest just hang down and let her have her curly hair but nah, nah, in the Pinterest video, she did three little hearts. So I was like, yeah, since I got the first one done, I could do another one. So here I am again, trying to do it again. So I gathered up some more hair, ponytailed it, ponytail another rubber band about two, three inches down from the original ponytail. Then open it up, flip it and dip it, and then take your tool, flip it and dip it again, and then you got a heart. You see, you see what I did? Yeah, okay. I wasn't completely happy with it, so I decided to add some glitter on top of it. Like, that was going to help. Um, but you know what? I just made it do what it do, okay? Because I was tired at this point. I won't about to redo them damn hearts no more. I added a little bow on top at the end because I was just like, yeah, we, we done, Lonnie. You know, the style lasted only one day. But will I do it again? Yeah, I probably would. I probably would still try it again because I just refuse to be defeated by three little hearts that go in a ponytail. All right, so after I regained what little bit of patience I had left, we moving on to my baby girl boo. So this is her hair freshly washed. I'm going in with the Pretty Strands hair oil. Um, and I, I don't think I went in with anything else. I think I just went in with the hair oil this time because yeah i was over it i was over this day so boo got a simple bun y'all <laughs> i was so tired i was like yeah boo mommy ain't doing we're gonna do a ponytail which boo was happy because she was just like oh this should take five minutes because she she don't like sitting there waiting to get her hair done although she loves the hairstyles she hates the time of getting it done so um you just gonna watch me put her hair in a ponytail smoothing it all out um boo's hair is just so easy to put into a ponytail because it's so fine it's not thick and on I don't get no cramps in my hands you know no carpet tunnel or anything starts acting up with boo's hair that's probably why I like doing boo's hair the most because I ain't got to do all this struggling with Lonnie's hair I'm over here trying to accomplish shit I ain't got no business doing with boo you know what I was like baby girl we gonna put it in a cute little bun and add a bow and you gonna be good to go we'll come back on Tuesday and redo that bun and you know make it a little bit cuter for you but she was happy she was like oh, okay mommy I get to go play bye <laughs> All right, we're back to Lonnie again. Um, I ended up having to rewash Lonnie's hair um, because those three hearts matted her hair, something serious. I left it in for three days instead of 
the, the, the one day. That was really my fault. It wasn't the hairstyle's fault. I knew that hairstyle wasn't gonna last but one day, but I was lazy and left it in for three days. So I had to rewash her hair and detangle and all that good stuff. And I think I was in a little depression funk too because I just was not in the mood to do hair. So Boo ended up keeping that bun we just did for a week because I was not, I was not in the mood. All right, so I'm starting off doing a part going from ear to ear. I listed the products that I just used. They popped up on the screen for you just in case you have any questions. And then we're gonna ponytail that back piece added some bobbles because I was feeling in the mood for some bobbles. I hadn't used them in a while, so I was like, you know what? Let's throw these suckers on in there. A simple little braid, tied it off with a rubber band and then added another bobble to the end because they add like this weight to the hair and I love that so it keeps it nice and stretched and cute, you know? All right, so I am now working on the front part. Like I said, we're gonna do uh, four ponytails across the front. I braided each ponytail down. I decided to add beads to uh, the ponytails that were on the sides. The ones that were on top, um, I believe I added bobbles to the ends of those instead of the beads. This hairstyle definitely took me back to when I was a kid, getting my hair done, having all the bobbles and the beads in my hair. It just gives like a 2000s aesthetic, 1990s aesthetic, okay? Yeah, I, I made it seem like I was younger than what I was. But anyways, it just it just gave me a throwback, and I love that. The simplicity of the hairstyles back when I was a kid, oh, we need to bring those back. All right, so now we're moving on to Baby Girl Boo. So she is freshly washed as well because Home Girl rocked that bun for probably about a week and a half. And she's just so happy to have her curls out. I just love seeing my girls admire their hair. It just, it just warms my heart because I remember struggling as a kid, loving my curls. I love to see that they are in love with their hair, the good and the bad, okay? So we're going in with the Pretty Strands leave-in conditioner and then I'm topping it off with the Butter Benefits by Pretty Strand, which is a pretty much a twi twisting cream, a butter cream, a very nice thick and creamy uh, moisturizer. I make sure I'm very heavy on the ends with these products um, because Calista's tends to have a lot of dry ends. I'm just parting a nice square right on top of her head and then we're going to take that square and part that into three more squares or well they're going to be rectangles rather than squares I'm sorry. So again, I was on Pinterest and they convinced me to try out another new style. So going back in with this little doohickey, I have no clue what it is called, but it's, it is a tool that I should, I have no business using, okay? So we are doing another flipping dip. The problem is when I did my flipping dip, the rubber band was a little too tight. So Boo was just like, hey mommy, this hurt. Uh, this is a little uncomfortable, I'm gonna need you to fix that. So I realized after doing the style that I probably should have did the rubber bands a little bit looser, not as tight to her scalp, and then flipped and dipped and then retightened the rubber band. I had to add some beads to each of the little flips and dips. So I am braiding down the hair and I take a strand of the bead, of the hair, a strand of that the three strands that we are using and I take and add one bead to each little strand so I braid down a little bit more I isolate one strand and add another bead to it braid down some more isolate one strand of the braid add another bead to it and braid down I did this at three times um, and then we're going to pull all of this down together into a ponytail I then oiled her scalp and she is all done. That is it for this style. So thank you guys for joining us on another tutorial. Here's a little review of the four hairstyles that we did in this tutorial. Thank you guys for joining us. We will see y'all on another video. Be blessed and be safe.